For this Guinness World Records title attempt, Aaron's time starts as soon as he sees the first number and finishes when he inputs the total sum of all 100 numbers. How do kids learn maths these days? Now, before I go any further, I want to show you this clip. Many of you may have seen it. By the end of this clip, you'll know and you'll be able to teach your kids to do something very similar or at least put them in the right direction. For this Guinness World Records title attempt, Aaron's time starts as soon as he sees the first number and finishes when he inputs the total sum of all 100 numbers. He's using a software that randomly generates 100 four-digit numbers at a specified speed. In order to beat the minimum set for this record, he needs to complete one addition every 0.5 seconds. Stop. Let's go. 30 seconds, 0.900 milliseconds. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wow, that is insane. Now, just have a look at this. Look at what he's doing here. You can see this movement with his hands. What is he actually doing? Well, when I was a kid, my grandfather, he was an Australian. He was an Anglo-Australian, but he spoke Chinese and Japanese and a bunch of other languages. And he could use the Chinese suanpan or the Chinese abacus. The one that he used and he taught me to use as a kid looked very similar to this. Now, this is a bit bigger. But what you have are these beads down the bottom are worth one and these beads are worth five. Now, if you look at the Japanese version, the soroban, it's very similar. Uh, basically, those extra beads are redundant. And so you have one up top worth five and these one beads down the bottom. And so what happens as you see his hands doing this, he has trained on one of these abacus. Now the abacus isn't just for counting. I know when you've got a little kid and you might go to the toy store and buy one of these play abacus. That's nice, but that's not what these do. The abacus that you see here can be used to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and even more. What happens? Numbers become more than just digits. Numbers become these physical things. And so I've built one of these here because I've been teaching my daughter rather than to use just the physical one, wherever she goes, she can have access. So watch what happens. I've got the Japanese. You can do the Chinese version here, but you can do one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then when all those beads are used up, well then it goes to 10. Now, if you look carefully down the bottom, I've put these buttons down here. So you don't even need to click the beads in the beginning. You can just click the increment up and see how it's counting. Now, what use is that? I'll show you in a minute because it gets very powerful with some of the additional functionality that I've put in there. And this can help train your kids not only to think of numbers super fast, but they're going to be able to start to do this kind of arithmetic even if they don't have a physical abacus in hand or a virtual one like I've built out here. But this is the training ground. So what that kid's doing when he's doing this with his hands is that every number has many different faces. So for example, the number three, let me just get it down here. If I say three on here and I want to add three, well, there are no more beads to add three. So adding three is also the same as adding five and subtracting two. That's three plus three is six. Now, if I add three to there again, I have nine. Adding three again, how do I do that? Well, adding three, rather than just raising three beads or bringing five down and subtracting two, you put 10 up and subtract seven. Five and two is seven and you've got 12. So what's happening there with this kid as he's doing this with his hands, his fingers have that much muscle memory in them from doing this when he thinks of, say, adding a three. He will feel where the beads are, even in his head, if he doesn't have the actual thing there, and his hands are doing these patterns that have been trained. Just like learning to play the piano or the guitar, his hands have learned to play numbers. And so what he's doing here then, if he's adding another three to this, you've got 12 there. Well, how do you add three? You've got to add five and two. So what he's doing is five and two, bringing them down up like that with his hands, and he's doing them that fast. He was calculating one four-digit number every half a second. If you've watched the clips that I've put out over the past couple of weeks, I've been talking about international school education. 
in Thailand and how crazy expensive it is. And it can cost well over half a million dollars for your child's education if you want them to have an international education here in Thailand. One thing that's also crazy is we have a friend and their son went to one of the more expensive international schools here. Now, he wanted to transfer to, I can say it now, Brighton, and they have an entrance exam for year seven. What happened was the international school that he went to, which was running on a Canadian syllabus, didn't teach the kids their times tables. And so when he was trying to get into Brighton, they had an entrance exam and they had general math. He couldn't do the entrance exam initially because he hadn't learned his times tables. This thing that we think is fundamental math and mental arithmetic just wasn't taught because math in the way that he knew all the way up to year six was done through life skills and not actually doing the old way that we used to do in rote learning. So what I've done here to simulate what we would have done in the past, but actually bring the abacus into the mix and also allow the times tables to be brought in. Have a look down here. I'll zoom it up a little bit for you so you can see it. But if you come down here, I've got this increment. And so what you can do with this is super powerful. Supposing you want your three times tables. We'll start easy. I can put three. And so what that means is, let me scale this down a little bit so you can see the whole abacus, is that if I reset this to zero and I do it, it's going to start adding for me. And as your kid, or even you, if you're not good at your times tables, you can start to not only recognize the numbers, but get used to the patterns. Three plus three. So you've seen that one down drop two. And so adding another three, it's brought those three up. What's it going to do next when they run out? And so they can learn all of these patterns and simulate them with their own fingers, just clicking up the buttons. And you can do that for any times table you want. You want your five times tables, I can just change this number to five. And so let's reset this and just click up. So they don't even need to have a coach to teach them how to do that. They can start off like this. And then once they start feeling confident, start trying to do the patterns themselves. So reset, and then they can add five, adding five is 10 minus five, add another five, five, add another five is adding another 10 minus five. And so they start to get these patterns in. That's exactly what that kid doing the Guinness Book of Records challenge was doing. And he'd gotten so good at this that it was built into his muscle memory. Now it doesn't stop there. If you've got plus five, it says plus five, but of course, if you subtract, it's going to do it in reverse. So that's minus. But what I've also added in, you can actually say, put a number there. So you've got three and I can say times three. And so I'll put that in here now times three. And so now whatever this number is here, you'll get exponentials multiplying by three. So three times three is nine but all of a sudden it starts to blow out and it blows out very fast. Look at that, we're up to 19,683. Now, if you want to get them recognizing the numbers even more as a more physical thing, you can actually hide this dashboard here and you can just try and recognize the numbers. You can even hide the total if you want, if they're just using the abacus by themselves and keep adding up. Now, as it needs to add more rows there, it will add them. It doesn't finish there. I've also enabled to the power. Let me just show the dashboard here. So I'll reset the abacus here. And so I've put to the power of two there, two to the power of two, two twos are four. Four to the power of two, four fours are 16. And look how fast these numbers go up. They really blow out. I can stretch this across for you, but that will continue to go. And you can go in the opposite direction. So you can go back and you're back to see 16, 16, four, and then it will go to zero. Now, the other functions I've put in here, if your kids are learning language, of course, you can have them recognize numbers in different scripts. I've got a whole bunch of other scripts there. And my daughter, she's learning coding. And so I've put binary in here because she's been learning all about binary. And at the same time that I was learning to use the abacus, I learned my 16 times tables so that I could do hexadecimal. So if you're a real geek, you can do your times tables. Let's get the 16 because we're talking about computers here in hexadecimal. And there you go. You can go up. You can see how these fit in beautifully with hexadecimal. So if you want your child to 
love numbers, to feel like numbers are part of them and be able to eventually maybe do something like this kid here has done, getting the Guinness Book of Records world title for the fastest mental arithmetic. Get them onto this abacus. It's totally free. Come to crackinglanguage.com slash abacus and you can play around with it. it works on mobile works on desktop on your ipad and if you're in bangkok on the 8th of june i'm running a free workshop in the morning from 10 30 to 11 30 for kids 8 to 12 where we're going to be doing this amongst a bunch of other fun things to start to activate their brains and making learning what traditionally may have thought of being complex stuff super fun. You can click on the link below to register. I'm Stuart J. Raj. I'll see you on the other side.